The year is 1964, and the world had a bold proposition for what life would be like in the future. Incredible breakthrough, which has been made possible by developments in communications. The big difference when he grows up, in fact, if we wanted to wait for the year 2001, is that he will have a television screen like this here, and a keyboard, and he'll talk to the computer, get information from it, and he'll take it as much for granted as we take the telephone. Make it possible for us to live anywhere we like. Any businessman, any executive, could live almost anywhere on Earth and still do his business through a device like this. And this is a wonderful thing. It means we want to be stuck in cities, we better live out in the country or wherever we please. It will be possible in that age, perhaps only 50 years from now, for a man to conduct his business from Tahiti or Bali just as well as he could from London. Men will no longer commute. They will communicate. They won't have to travel for business anymore. They'll only travel for pleasure. So, what is the modern world like for us? We're like you if you feel that the very technology created to liberate you might have been having the opposite effect the whole time. We are like you if you wake up early every morning to the sound of an alarm like this. We are like you if you drag yourself out of bed, half awake, fighting that perpetual war of keeping your eyelids open so you don't drift back to sleep. We are like you if you start every day with far too much caffeine and if you keep telling yourself that maybe tomorrow will be the day that you went without. We are like you if you walk the same way, the same place each day, and now, don't even bother to take in your surroundings as you drift to work as if on autopilot. We are also like you if you sit at the same desk in the same office and start your day the same way each morning by sifting through a never-ending list of emails which always leave you questioning who are these people who seem to stay up all night sending emails? Like seriously, why? We are like you if you are stuck in the repetitive cycle of life, working nine to five, five days a week, and feel like you are trying to cram the rest of living into those two short days over the weekend. We are like you if you catch yourself staring out of the window and dreaming of past adventures when time itself seemed to stand still and you were truly present and living life. Wait a minute, are we getting carried away with a typical Insta holiday highlight reel? Well, maybe a little, but it helps make the point, right? Yeah, okay, fair enough. Continue. Our story may differ from your own, is this year we've decided to take a leap, a leap of faith, championing our inner Arthur C. Clarke to see if we can harness the very technology around us to work and travel full time. Packing up our desks and leaving our office jobs possibly the last time, we turn off the lights on that chapter of our lives.
We then boxed up all our possessions and patched up our apartment as we prepared to leave our city lifestyles and swap comfort for adventure in the unknown. ready. Looking back on our now empty apartment, we knew this was it. No turning back now. Jeez, that's scary. mix of excitement and trepidation, we waited for the garage doors to open one last time, ready to hit the road and start a year-long adventure to discover the best of what Australia has to offer and challenge ourselves to live a completely different way of life. Well, that was the plan, but then this happened. The World Health Organisation has declared coronavirus a global pandemic. The world will soon enter a pandemic. 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 For the first time in a century, the Queensland border is closed. Oh, I know, right? Perfect timing. Catch our next video where we decide if we should still press on with our trip and our van, as well as what self-isolation looks like in the Southern Highlands.